What's going on? We back with the Boston Clinic of Mori. Y'all know what it is. Your boy CJ Goodfellow. One time for the one time. We grinding. And we talk about weight bully, all right? And all these people going around, you know, talking about, oh, weight bully this, weight bully that, all right? And, um, you know, they only use the term when it's convenient for them. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? They only use it. Oh, Earl Spence, the weight bully. Danny Jacobs, the weight bully. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, this term could have been created years ago, like decades, eons ago, okay? But you can go back to Canelo Alvarez outweighing all his opponents after the second day weigh-in for the majority of his fights. Nobody say weight bully. You can go back to Floyd Mayweather getting outweighed second day versus the majority of his opponents. Nobody say shit about that. Go back to Sergio Martinez second on Chavez Jr. He came in as a cruiserweight and legitimately took that man's prime in one night. Nobody say nothing about weight bully. You know what I'm saying? People say that as a term to take away from what a fighter is doing. And my my motto has always been, if you ask anybody around the box community, that uh, Facebook community, social media community, if, if you can make the way, there's no debate. Period. You know? If it's a big ec- epidemic, everybody do a second day weigh-in then. Period. You know, people wanted to use it, you know, for Orlando Salido versus Lomachenko. And I know Salido came in heavy, okay? But guess what? Lomachenko could have said, look here, man, you got to, if you, if you don't come in at, at, at this amount of weight tomorrow, you know what? I I mean I I mean the fight is off, you know. He could have said that, but he was his arrogance took away from that. Nobody talk about how Mikey Garcia was 170 plus pounds before the Sergey Lipinets fight. How Crawford was weighing in at 177 between fights as well. Nobody say shit about that though. You know what I'm saying? And if I say stuff like that, I'm a hater because I'm hating on Terrence. I'm a hater. I'm a hater because I'm hating on Mikey. I'm a hater because I'm hating on on Lomachenko. I'm not hating. I'm telling you the truth. The truth is reaching. You know, the hating is reaching, excuse me. Tell me what I'm reaching at about any of the subjects that I'm bringing up. I'm not reaching. I'm providing facts. I'm providing a sauce so you can dip in it. And most people want to say, when I bring up shit, you hating. You know, but when I say good things about fighters, about their fighters, it ain't, it, ain't, it ain't nothing. It's quiet. But when I say derogatory, oh, you're so negative. No, I'm just telling you the truth. That's the only thing I can do is tell you the truth from my perspective. You know, a lot of people can't handle the truth. You know what I'm saying? And then when they fighter get exposed to get his ass whooped, you know, they act like they're emotionally attached to him. Like, that's their son. Or that's kinfolk. That's their blood. Like, they paying their bills. Like, they piping them down. And, and they paying all their bills. Like, they're some little bras. You know what I'm saying? When you tell the truth, or when you debunk one of their lies, oh, oh yeah, I mean, you a hater. You, you this and that. At the end of the day, I can care less. You know what I'm saying? And that's the fact is, that ter- that term... It ain't, it ain't a term to pump nobody. It's a term to tear a fighter down. When it's convenient for Triple G, oh, he's a cruiserweight. You know, Danny Jacobs a cruiser. He want a fucking cruiserweight. You know what I'm saying? People use that to take away because they can't stand it. You know, when brothers get behind certain fighters, no, you got coon ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them. Oh, man, you, 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 you woo, woo, woo. but you the same nigga that's the support Canelo Alvarez. You know, that's the that cheated. You the same brother, you know, black guy. That support Canelo Alvarez. You're the same black guy that's walking around with a Canelo shirt, you know, sharing all the Golden Boy topic videos, and they haven't addressed the Black Hitler statement when they call Al Heyman. They haven't addressed all this racist shit they did. You know what I'm saying? You just got, I mean, I call it spade a spade. You know, when I'm wrong, let me know. When I tell a lot, let me know. I ain't always correct. You know what? I don't be on my computer on here reading line for line about information. I go off the top. Strictly freestyle, man. But. That term is to take away from fighters, and it's a casual. T- it's a casual term. Only casual use that shit. You know, if you make that weight, you make it. You know what I'm saying? You don't. You can hear nobody say, "Oh, oh, oh." Jared Hurt was a weight bully versus Eric Lindy Lara. You know what? You don't hear nobody say that. You hear people say Charlo's weight bully though, but he ain't Jared Hurt weighing more than both of them when he uh, when they was at 54. You know what I'm saying? Just de- de- debunking, debunking the, the debunking the shit, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, anybody call and one of nobody called Anthony Joshua a weight bully, even though it's heavyweight, he'll be two fifty and Deontay Water, two two twenty, two twenty five at the most. Nobody say that. What nobody saying that versus Mike Perez and Brian Jennings? Nobody was saying none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, Mike Jen, Michael Jen, Brian Jennings, excuse me, was outweighed the most of the majority of his fights. Deontay Water was two fifteen to Luis Ortiz two fifty on the scale. He could have rehydrated way more than that. Come on, man. Ain't nobody saying shit about that. Ain't nobody say shit how Tyson Fury gonna come in about 260, 255, and Deontay Water be 220. Ain't no way bully term being thrown around for that. You know what I'm saying? I can keep going on and on and on and on. 
Nobody called Roberto Duran back in the day a weight bully. He was blowing up to fucking 180 pounds as a lightweight. You know, blowing up even bigger as a welterweight. Nobody called him a fucking weight bully. You don't hear Sugar Ray Leonard say, oh, he a weight bully, he a weight bully. You don't hear that shit. You know, because that's that's casual talk. You know, and you got a lot of boxing fans around here who don't know their history. And we need history channels, and that's why I do some more historical stuff, and it's coming. More historical stuff across the board. More historical football, more historical basketball. You know, a lot of people don't know shit. You know, they don't know their history. You know, they only go on with ESPN saying, ESPN guarantee you. ESPN only tell you a percentage of the truth, not the facts. You know, they don't tell you that Michael Jordan was the slam dunk champion, all-star game MVP, NBA MVP, NBA scoring champ, defensive player of the year, first team all NBA, first team all defense. In, in one season, he did all that. Tim and LeBron did anything close to that. See, they won't tell you that. They only tell you shit that they want you to hear. That's why it's always important to always research and know your history. Know your history. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, man, there have been plenty of fighters that blew up and, and, and been our way. And, and Mayweather been our way plenty of times. You know what I'm saying? Shit happens. You got you you took the fight. You know what it is. This guy just didn't blow up all of a sudden. Now we're not talking about a situation where Salido and Lomachenko where, you know, Salido just came in overweight and, and dude's not making a weight. And they and, and then dudes gotta constantly fight guys that's coming two or three pounds over the weight limit during fights. You not you don't have that issue. Dude made the weight. What's the problem? Make the weight, there's no debate. It's no weight bully. That's a casual boxing term, man. For casuals and hating ass boxing fans, man. So I had to address it. Shout out to the whole LDBC family and the whole network. That's the only network I'm listening to, besides a couple other guys as well. Don't forget, we're on social media. Check the description as well. And I definitely appreciate everybody for listening to TBC and more. We're going to keep hitting y'all upside the head with the content. Y'all know what the business is.